Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell and I am the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. In this video we're going to focus on the topic of specific post page access. Now S2 member refers to specific post page access as an added layer of functionality. Well why do we call it an added layer? Well it's because S2 members primary intent is to be a membership management system. In other words, every customer is going to be associated with a username and a password so that when they log into your site, they will have access to the content, and that could be posts or pages or categories or tags or even file downloads. They will have access to that content when they are logged in and only if they are logged in. And in addition to that, STMR makes several features available, such as open registration, where you can have free subscribers. So all of that is what we consider membership level access. Now, this added layer of functionality, where you can sell access to specific posts or specific pages, is designed so that it works independently from that membership level access. In other words, if you sell a customer, in this example, if we sell a customer access to specific post number one, the customer after checkout will be directed automatically to this post and granted access to this post without having to have, without needing to have a, a username and a password. That's not a requirement. Now, if they are a member already, and even if they're logged in, then that's fine. But the way we're going to protect these three posts is going to make these three posts off limits to everyone in the public and everyone that's a member. So, this works completely independent from membership level access. These three posts will not be available to anyone that has not purchased these specific posts or pages. Now, the most common use of this feature, uh, probably one of the most popular that I've seen, is many site owners like to use S2 members' membership management capabilities so that they have a membership offering with a set of premium content that they sell access to but they may also have additional products or services that they prefer to sell separately. So in other words, they reserve some of their content that is only sold on a one-off basis and it has to be purchased separately. So that's great. In other words, a site can have a membership base, but then they can have additional products or services that they sell independently. And the great thing about this feature is that a, an existing member or anyone in the public for that matter, whether they're a member or not, but they can purchase access to one of these specific posts or pages on a one-off basis where they pay you uh, through a buy now button and then they're delivered to the post or page and granted access and it does not affect their membership or maybe any recurring charges that were associated with their membership it does not affect that in any way. So it just it gives you a way to sell additional services or products to your existing customer base. So I really, I highly recommend this because it can really help to increase the revenue that your site brings in. Now, in this example, I've created these three posts. And just for clarity, I titled them specific posts number one, two, and three. Uh, obviously, these are just generic, but you could, you know, you could rename these in your installation. And again, for clarity, I, I created a category called specific posts, and I've placed each of these posts inside that category. Now, you don't have to create a category. All you need here is just the post IDs, okay? And I have the ID visible right here because I've installed the plugin called WP Show IDs. Now, I recommend that plugin because it makes it a little easier here to collect these, this ID information on your post. Uh, if you don't have this plugin installed, you can either install it or you can just hover over the link here. And in the bottom left-hand corner in your status bar, you will see where it says post equals 83. So what that is telling me is that this post has an ID inside WordPress of 83. And I need to know this because I need to protect these three IDs using S2 members specific post page access. And the way I do that is by, I'm going to switch to this other tab here, is in the general options panel for S2 member. You can access that here in the main S2 member menu by clicking general options. And you scroll down and you find this specific post page access restriction section. You can expand that down, and in this field here, you can see I've already typed in 83, 85, and 88. And I just comma delimited them, and that's fine to do that. Now, that's all it takes, and you scroll down and you click Save Changes. Now, I do want to cover one other uh, topic here in a, in a possible conflict 
in your configuration and help you to avoid this happening. If you look here, this is membership levels, and then beneath that, you have post, page, tag, category, and URI. Okay, all of this is designed to work with S2 members' core functionality for membership level access. And this is separate, okay, as we've just been discussing. So what I want to make sure of here is that I do not protect those three special, those specific post pages, 83, 85, and 88. I don't want to protect those using any type of membership level access because if I did that, I'm creating a conflict between these two different functionalities. In other words, if a customer was to check out and be granted specific post page access, but I have also I have also required that post or page to be to require membership level access, I have now created a problem. I have created a customer that's going to be very unhappy because they're going to check out and they would be denied access because now they have to have not only a, a buy now transaction authorization, but now they also have to have a membership, which they did not pay for. So you just want to avoid creating this conflict. And there's mention of that here in the configuration panel. So if you forget that, you'll be reminded right here in this section not to do that. Okay. Now let's flip back over. And I'm going to scroll down and we're going to now go to PayPal buttons in the S2 member menu. And now that I have configured some specific posts or pages, I can scroll down here to the bottom and click on PayPal specific post page buy now buttons. If I expand this down, I will see that now those three posts that I configured are now populated in this, in this button generator for me. So now I can create a PayPal buy now button where I can package together either at least just one single post, for example, I could sell just post number one, or I could sell a package of posts. So in the next section of this video, we're going to go over this button generator in detail and show you how uh, you can put together a specific post page button to grant, to grant a customer access to one or all or even a package of these posts or pages. Okay, we're going to do that in the very next section.